All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duel. So we are joined by Alexis. Hey, everybody. And uh, you guys decided on Mechlord? Despots. Okay. And, of course, we're playing against Blue Eyes. Saw that coming. I, Alexis, did I not say we're going to just duel against Blue Eyes? Did I not call that Yes, joke? you did say. You, you said, and I quote, we're going to duel some Blue Eyes and get the shit kicked out of us. <laughs> uh, but you already know that I'm psychic, so... <laughs> You are psychic, and you should not have these abilities, and I swear that if anything you say has come true and will always come true. <laughs> so, so one day, one day is so fair and tag, so I get to draw, and then you can't do damage. <laughs> Might be able to do something pretty cool here. Let me see if I can get it to work out. Alright. So, I don't understand the synergy, like, whoever suggested Mech or Despot, if you want to go ahead and send me, like, the deck profile of it... Sure, I'll take it because I'm kind of just scratching my head about what's the synergy. Like, I don't understand because literally all I have is just despots with mech lords thrown in, and it's just like, well, here's the deck, I guess. Like, and I've already played. No, you could just cast that strike <laughs> because, of course, he has to strike. <laughs> I think that they're just trying to troll you because I can think of no synergy at all myself, and I've mm -hmm. been thinking for the last five minutes since you told me the deck. Yeah, there's just no synergy. It's not like despots to destroy themselves and then the mech lords go off. Like, I'm assuming that maybe you guys are like, oh, well, the mech lord monster was like, it gains attack half of our life points or half of our opponent's life points. Which one is it? It's half of one of the two. Half of the, of your life points. Yeah, so I guess it's like, oh, and tag, he'll be an 8,000 beater, but how? Do I summon him? <laughs> like unless I unless our opponent throws a Rengeki at us, I seriously seriously doubt I'm never gonna summon him. But okay, <laughs> I mean I don't really mind the death spots. Okay, so the Chariot Beast is cool and all, but he could just run it over with the White Spirit Dragon. So and was sadly not particularly good after that Solemn Strike. Yeah. yeah. You could have trished him. <laughs> could you have? No. I, I could have trished him if the uh, if Psalm Strike didn't hit the level 4 monster. Oh no. Wow. It's literally two decks that I said that I'm not going to face on Daily Duels anymore. <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of seeing these two decks. Like, you do not understand. I see these two decks all well, the time. Well, it could be worse. Time. They could summon Ultimate... Wait, wait. If I say that, they're going to summon Ultimate Falcon. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm playing Despot, so I can handle Ultimate Falcon. It's just, like, great. So, blue eyes at everybody and their mother is playing. Thank you, fucking Shinsuke. And, fuck it. Oh, my God. And you play Readiness. Great. Oh, my God. I hate Raid Raptors. All they do is search. All right. Then play your fucking, your fucking nest if you have it. But I'm not sure. You should have searched for it, but you didn't. You'd rather have Readiness. Then go into Four Strikes and Detach and search with Four Strikes and search with fucking Fuzzy. Like, I get it. You search. God, I hate Raid Raptors. <laughs> they don't do anything. Yeah, the good news is I can negate any of the spell cards he has, but I don't think that's going to be very relevant right now, is it? No, because he's just going to run your ass over, and then, of course, he has Gospel, because that's a fucking stupid card. Like, I just don't understand why not only would you give Dragons a Revival card, the most strongest type in Yu-Gi-Oh, a Revival card, but then a Protection card at the same damn time? I like, think Christ Dragon Rulers are banned, because they would take advantage of Gospel, too. <laughs> I wish that there was a light and dark dragon ruler, although ideally with a different clause, because otherwise they're going to break something. I'm looking at you, Life Sworn. <laughs> I mean, that Chaos Emperor, we never got that. Should I revive the Neturia Beast so that we have our, our spell negation still on the field? It wouldn't be a terrible idea. It just... I need to handle that spirit. The problem with handling that spirit is that it's gospel, so I'm gonna have to do like a rank four play, like a castell or something. I'm gonna leave the Natreya Beast in the graveyard, and you can use the Call to Haunt it for a combo if you need to, okay? Mm, no, it's okay. I, I have force. I should be okay. I'm not sure if he'll activate any spells during main phase two, but. It would be terrible. It's really up to you. I mean, just having the cherry IV there is nice, so. They can't explode any further than they already have. 
I mean, he went hella plus, but that's just what the deck does, so. Ah, and I drew into Despot 2s and Despot 7s, so thank god I have my Despot base so I can reshuffle. So I got my Granul, I got my mech board. Don't you mean Despot Cosmotown? Yeah. <laughs> so stupid. Um, double, double twin twister. Uh, I mean, I already know that's a card of fucking readiness, so. Maybe if I get like a Despot 4 or something. I'm gonna put all this back. I don't need any of them. <laughs> I you opened up a lot of dead cards, didn't you? Ah, uh, sort of. Yep, yep. Uh, I got I got Granul, so we were running the mech lords in there, so Granul, so if we're destroyed, then I can summon him and he'll be hella strong. So that's a thing, I guess. And, and then I just drew into a third Twin Twister, so I have three Twin Twisters, and then I drew into the seven, then I shuffled back, and I just re drew into it, so that's a thing. I try to run two Twin Twisters myself. I always tend to draw three of them when I run three of it. I'm running, uh pot of desire, so I want to make sure that everything is at, you know, multiple amount, so. Uh. True. I always... Fun fact, I once used pot of desires and I ended up banishing literally every single card I need in my deck for my combos to go off in a row, back to back. So just going to spot four and just go for a rank four play. Just so I can handle the blue eyes. The blue eyes is the biggest threat right here, right now. I got Castell, just cast Elm away. And then I'll try to kill the Strix, but of course that will not die. <laughs> Strix will die. Oh, wait, does he have. Yeah, did he set the card? Because the Brave Raptor player didn't set anything, did he? Yeah, he did. That's readiness. And yeah. then that was my bad. No, also, the Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon can tag out the dodge. Uh, this isn't the Blue Eyed player's hand, this is the Red Raptor guy's hand. So, unless the Red Raptor guy's playing a Blue Oh, right, right. Okay, in that case, she's going to have a. Potential dead draw later on, which will be hilarious if that ends up happening. Yep, so, I mean, I already know that that's that card is readiness, so... I guess I'll attack and then you'll be like, readiness on my four strikes, and I'll be like, that's fine. <laughs> Look ahead. at it this way, the Ray Raptor, uh, the Blue Eyes player can't really use Ray Raptor four strike unless he's attacking like a random dark winged beast, just because... And then I'm assuming that this is, uh, your stone? Your ancient white stone. That's really the only monster that you set. This ancient guy. white stone is going to do him nothing in the hands of a of a raid raptor player. Ah, oh, damn, Danny, you're so fucking psychic. Yep. Yep. You're welcome. Uh. Your psychic abilities need to get a nerf. <laughs> Forget about Cosmo. Let's nerf your Bell Mastery's psychic abilities. I'm trying to bluff him, but I don't think I, I can. <laughs> He'll probably end up just twin twistering my twin twisters. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I'm gonna get too much use out of him. I'll set the other one too. Fuck it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Aha! I have twin twisters! <laughs> Little did I know, it's gonna draw all of them. Absolutely beautiful. Wait, does he actually have a? Oh a my god! I just deck? thought of something. I cast out the monster back into his deck, so then Ancient Stone can summon it from his deck. Oh god, that is. I I think I feel stupid now. I mean, uh, I mean, I knew it was Ancient White Stone, but there's nothing I could have done about it. I mean, it's fucking Ancient White Stone. Come on. Uh, of course. Fucking blue eyes is so cancer. Very a beast. You know what? You short a monster by a card effect, so I actually get to summon my fucking mech lord. Ha! Bet you didn't see that coming. Bum bum bum. Even though the fucking blue eyes guy could probably handle it with ease, and all I got is twin twisters. Well, I mean, maybe if we're lucky, he won't be able to. I uh, wouldn't hold your breath on that. Yeah, even even he's confused. They don't don't worry. Even you're confused. What the fuck am I playing exactly? So you're gonna tag that out for another one? <laughs> That's fine. I, I, mean, I still got fucking nothing. <laughs> Twisters that do basically nothing. 
Although, I guess maybe if I draw a certain card, I can use Twin Twister on a, another Twin Twister to get a card in the graveyard and then go Wombo Combo because that's totally fair. I mean, it's fairer than what happened to us right now. Like, we got our Neutria be slucked up for stupid ass reason. Uh, we cast those monster away so it won't get gospel and of course the shit was a set stone that the other partner person could use during that phase like it was just dumb like we just ran into straight up stupidity but it, uh, what you gonna do right the mech lord is gonna survive the turn which means we can use it to run over the blue eyes and deal heavy damage well, we kill can... the raid raptor or whatever we want to do oh well, we can kill it do heavy damage or we won't kill because of course fucking gospel is a stupid ass card <laughs> god i hate gospel I don't... seriously yeah, he did damage, so I guess I'll go ahead and summon him back. Why not? Because I believe I have a level 4 monster in hand. I forget if I do or not. Well, my boss. Say, okay, if you do, then fucking Castell. <laughs> I do actually think I'm gonna Castell the Blue Eyes and then run over the Raid Raptor. Yep, and then we won't do any more damage for the rest of the turn, maybe because readiness. <laughs> readiness is such a passive card, I hate that card. And they search it so easily, but you know, I guess it's better than searching up their rank up cards where they could just bust out Ultimate Falcon. <laughs> I just thought of something a little bit cooler I could do, I could, but it's also a little bit weaker. What? I could go Blade Armor Ninja, attack the Blue Eyes, he'll use the Gossip of Revival, and then attack it again. Yeah, that'd be fine. You get the additional, what, 1000 from Blade Armor Ninja with your heroic? Yeah. Yeah, that would work. At least they have a 3200 blade armor ninja instead of just Castell empty with only 2k, so. I'm just glad I'm dead drawn all these twin twisters. Some duels I never see twin twisters. Those duels see all the twin twisters. But that's one thing about Daniel. <laughs> the psychic abilities and the terrible luck. <laughs> also, why on earth is it taking so long for it to register in my summon? Does he have like a snow rabbit in hand or something? If he has snow rabbit, I'm gonna cry. Oh no, it's readiness. I guess if you want to, like, uh, we'll we'll do damage eventually. So so that was no synergy at all. It just happened to be that I had the granol. It just happened to be that he got rid of the the call of the hunted, which just happened to pop the monster like. <laughs> This is all just one coincidence, Yabel. That's just what we're going to have to accept it as. Yep, but hey, that's what they wanted. They all voted on it. And it wasn't even close. Like, the two decks for Tag were, like, undisputed. Like, ridiculous. So, yep. Tuesdays and Thursdays, decks are definitive. I think it's this and Zephyr. But at least Zephyr I can do multiple things with. It doesn't just have to be <laughs> a particular type of Zephyr deck. Zephra build if you want to see it after this game. Alright, go ahead and send it over. I never played Zephyrus before. <laughs> I'm gonna Randall because why not? Damn, and then take all of that damage. And then kill your force tricks. I'll say, there's, is there really any point to playing the freaking readiness now? You can also just take everything now. <laughs> and take that cast out, boy. <laughs> And then our bluffs, our bluffs, look at our sets. I mean, I guess the Raid Raptor guy might set some cards, I don't know. <laughs> Those bluffs are absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I could pop six of your back row. You about to catch this freaking Harpy's Feather Dust, dude, boy. <laughs> wow, least, of course he still has like seven cards in his hand. Like... <sighs> for you, they have hands for days, and they don't really lose hands until like turn nine or something. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering what the hell he's gonna do. I guess he can go ahead and just summon summon and make a castell and this is gonna lock himself into only that shit. Oh shit. Never mind. He might go into what's it called? Um uh Rise Rise Falcon, Revolution Falcon or whatever. Because then Vanishing can summon a monster. If he goes into it, that, I'm going to cry a little bit inside. I think that's what he's gonna know. do. And he's gonna attack all our monsters and drop them all down to zero and fuck them all up. And then of course he's gonna get the search off Fuzzy and the search off of Mimicry. Yep. What does Mimicry do again? 
it makes everything go up a level on the field. So basically, it's going to make the rank 5 Raid Raptor, which is basically a ring of destruction, and it can attack directly. Really? I would have done the three level fours. I wouldn't have went into Blaze Falcon, but I guess. Or that. Or that. Change that into a trial. Destroy monsters. As many special monsters. And I'm like, wow. It's much different than the anime. A lot stronger. And go ahead and rank up into Revolution Falcon. What does it do in the anime anyway? I'm not familiar with anime cards for the most part. I believe it just pops one monster. I don't think it pops all special summon monsters. Yeah, I thought it was gonna pop one monster. Oh my god! Fucking readiness! Stop stalling! God, I hate readiness! <laughs> it's like double annoying. It's like not only does it block from the monster from the shotgun, but then it blocks for, for the damage. Like, of course. And you can search it so fucking easily. <sighs> Saddest part here is that I can't even risk summoning Thousand Blade because he'll just blow it up and deal more damage to us. Can he do that? Once per turn, he can touch Extreme Material. Yeah, destroy it. Yeah. If you have anything that you don't mind pitching in your hand, you should probably take Knight and Twin Twister that during the end phase, because that's going to get annoying, because we need to kill that Revolution Falcon. <laughs> He's not setting any legit back row, it's just readiness, so to even go for game, we gotta go through two readiness? Like, it's fucking garbage. Oh, thank god I have fucking base, because I'm not drawing into anything. I think my luck is just fucking Drawing into terrible. Twin Twisters, that's, that's helpful. That's the, yeah, that's helpful. Against fucking Blue Eyes, who would never set back row, and then fucking Raid Rappers, who only do readiness. Like, yep, yep, totally helpful. Well, let's not forget that some Raid Raptor players do play a lot of back row, like they're playing Rivalries, they're playing Venus Chains or Breakthrough Skills, <sighs> they're playing Mirror Forces, and whatever else they play. I have like a Break Sword in here. No, I don't. God damn it. Oh, that'd be great if I had a Break Sword drew into a Mech Lord card. So I got my Mech Lord. That's awesome. Okay, I have driven the Despot 3, and I can go Despot 3 summon, but what can he summon to handle this situation? I don't think he can do anything. Yeah, because... Because that's a fixed period. The In this case, you'll be able to summon out my Heroic Thousand Blades, and... I got nothing else. I mean, if he blows up your monster next turn, you'll be able to summon out another Mech Lord. Does that uh, count for anything? Oh, doesn't count for shit. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of anything. I can summon three, and then three can summon... Three can summon... I don't know. If I just had anything to summon. Like, anything else. If I can summon four, and I can attack him, but it's fucking Revolution Falcon, so he can just drop my attack down to zero and fuck me up because my monster was special summoned, so... Wait, what, the, I, what wait, one Despot 3 be buff, buff up a, uh, any of your Despots by the number of Despot cards times 500? Yeah, yeah, that's three. I just thought of that. So, that includes my Despot fill spell, plus in cell. includes itself and the monster and something, so he'll go 2,500. That's pretty nice. That should work out. Yep. So. Yeah, zero, 03 can buff himself up, and he'll be just big enough to beat the Revolutionary Falcon. Summon you, you'll get to search. Oh, cool. That's about three saving my ass. Um, think about just grabbing another three if I have one, because three is just so good. Do I have one more three? I do? Three, yeah. Three. So. Probably should have summoned the Despot 2 in attack mode, but it's fine. So I can just go into battle phase, activate my effect, increase my attack, and run over your ass because I'm not a special summon monster. And shit you can do to me, so that's awesome. And before he just uses readiness just so he doesn't take damage. I mean, that's what he wants to do. <laughs> if we win this duel, <laughs> this would be a sad day for them if we win this duel, but we gotta get to two readiness. Like, that's so fucking annoying. We win this duel, I think it's gonna be a miracle because I'm playing a deck that I'm playtesting and you're playing a deck 
then I'm pretty sure your subscribers were just trolling you when they gave it to you. Yeah. But that sounds like something they do. I'm just thank Christ for fucking Despot Base. Fucking Cosmo Base. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, if I didn't get Cosmo this base fucking base, is a better name for it. If I didn't get this base, I would have. Fact, for the rest of this video, let's refer to Despot Base as Cosmo Base. <laughs> I mean, I seriously doubt I'll ever pull off that last effect. <laughs> that fucking nine, <laughs> nine different names. I think I only saw that effect go off once. Wow. Wow, boys, guy, you're really out of place. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to make. I'm gonna try to go for a move. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I think I could tr I think I could trish him. Let me do the math real quick. Yeah, I could trish him. Do you mind if I use 003? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. If you know what, if you're going to trish this man, then I definitely definitely want you to banish one of them fucking readinesses. Wait, they could just chain it. Where is if they chain it? That's one less readiness we got to deal with. I mean, they were gonna play it anyway. <laughs> the, pro the problem is that they can chain the one that you target. No, wait, they can't. They can't, because Trish doesn't target. Aw, uh, yeah. <laughs> Trish doesn't target. At this point, I don't really don't even give a shit about that in Gospel. Even though that card's annoying, the wise guy just seems like he's starting to break. Or did he already use Gospel? He already used it. Duh. Kinda forgot that he already used it. Yep, yep, get rid of the one of them rating the CCs. To attack first, so like mm, actually, let's just go ahead because no. it's the blue eyes player's turn. I'm gonna just banish his stuff, yeah. But yeah, trust him, banish that set card. It's probably a fucking ancient white stone, anyway. So banish it, <laughs> banish a readiness, and banish something from his hand. Like, damn, because totally what the blue eyes need player need is just fucking worse, <laughs> worse shit. So they can go ahead and chain readiness on summon, but you don't know which one we're gonna banish. So if you chain the readiness now, we'll just pick the other one, then we'll attack, and then you can play the other one. No way out of this. He's gonna lose at least one readiness. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, it wasn't Just a stone. Beautiful. Was, wow, you some you set sage? I guess you were really worried. Cause that could have been a search. You could have oh you could have summoned sage and searched for the fed veiler. Stop that trish. Rip. <laughs> and fusion substitute. That was the card that I, I forgot the name of. Confusion substitute. Wow, instead of Polly? Like, I guess you really want to go into that, but you're not always going to have the blue eyes on the field. Like, it, what are you fusion substituting into? What, Neo Ultimate? The only fusions they run are first to the Dragon, Neo, and sometimes Twin Burst, which doesn't even need it. Yeah, like, okay. And of course, I mean, we should have known. The fucking guy that's named Raptor was going to be playing Raid Raptors. Yeah, I thought you were going to play some cool dinosaur deck. <laughs> Dinosaurs need some more love. They have like no good cards, sadly. Just like even if you go with the me. with uh, Dolky and Laga, they're dragons, not dinosaurs. Oh yeah, they are dragons. Yep. Well, looks like he'll probably bust out another Revolution Falcon or whatever, or Rise Falcon. Yeah, Rise Falcon. Yep, once returning attack to carry all and target one face up monster upon controls, this card gains attack. And then you can attack all special summon monsters once each. Yep. So there goes our monsters. I'm sad now. My Trishula was supposed to give us another turn. <laughs> nope, nope, because that's right there for a guy still has resources out the ass. I believe that's all of his fuzzy wuzzies though, so. You know he can attack that, right? I don't know why I did that. Yeah, I really say. don't. <laughs> why did I <laughs> Yay, more damage for no reason. <laughs> wow. I am an idiot today, everybody. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Was it worth? <laughs> it was not worth it. it. It just wasn't worth it. This mech lord is fucking useless. Like, <laughs> so useless. Wow, that attack gain is permanent? 
And it's sadly permanent, so unless you have number 103, I think we're in a lot of trouble now. No, no, I can handle it, because I can just go three, and then three can summon four, and four can definitely boost up strong enough to get over it, so. So actually, you know what? We're better than fun, because I can actually do a really strong play right now. No, wait, because that's to be two different Strong enough to warrant fighting through a, uh, a readiness? Uh, well, we just can't do any damage. We can still kill this monster. <laughs> and killing this monster is just the first step to dwindling his resources. Because you, you notice that he, he's doing, like, these big rank plays, but they require, like, four monsters. So he's slowly negging on resources every time he busts out this monster and I just kill it. <laughs> so, we'll just summon Despot 4. I think I'll hold on to my base. Yeah, I'll, I'll hold on to the card, because I drew into Despot. No, this is Despot 6. Never mind. <laughs> uh, maybe... Cause what do you what do you summon? You summon from the graveyard. Send one death boss monster. Maybe from just the summons from the graveyard. from the graveyard. Hey, can't you make yeah. a cyber dragon? And no, it has to be two with different levels. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It has to be two with different levels. So, ah, uh, so I can summon two, and I can summon two can get me a search. I already normal summon this turn. I guess I can set up my pendulum skills, get a search, or maybe like I don't know. <laughs> I can like send nine. Can nine be summoned? Maybe since the blue eyed player didn't have any plays last turn, he may not have any this turn. Which means if we kill the rave raptor players, then on our turn we can just start attacking and force out that readiness. Yep. If I send nine, can I summon it? <laughs> I've never played Death Lot Nine before. I'm ninety five percent sure of that. Go ahead and activate Death Spot Four effect. Because I want to send something that I can special summon. Is he worth sending once per turn? He makes the combine, tackle, and uh, 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 do a whole bunch of damage. I'm just trying to figure out what monster I want to summon. Zero, zero, 009 is probably the best one if you can summon it. Because if I remember correctly, it has their Mades effect. It gets a really, really big power boost, and your opponent can't kill it if you have other Deathbot cards on the field, right? Okay. Damn, I'll just go to 55 fucking 100, run your ass over, and then I'll use Despot 4 effect. Ah, Despots are so strong. I'll go ahead and summon 9, and then I will special summon 2. And get my search on. Damn, damn, damn. Like I said, if we win this fucking duel... <laughs> I actually think we're about to win this, because we got our opponents down to the rope. The blue eyed player didn't have any plays last turn, and the Rave Raptor player doesn't get another turn until after mine. You know what? I'm just gonna search for another four. Just in case you bust out another strong monster that I can't kill. <laughs> and they quit! Ended. So we win. Woo! That was a good duel. <laughs> that was a good game. Good <laughs> GG. Yep, GG. So, yay, Mecha, I think it's not right. Oh my god, this deck. <laughs> I don't know what you want from me with this deck. Like, someone's gonna have to say, whoever suggested it, send me the deck, pro deck profile. Because what the fuck were you thinking? Like, alright. Okay. <laughs> like, maybe I shouldn't run this mech lord, but I was like, okay, at least he's something. Like, I don't know how many mech lords and what mech lords I should be running, but I I'd rather just run just pure death spots. <laughs> I would suggest running only because it's in tag. One or two of the uh, brown mech lord, and then one or two of the Weisel. Just because Wiles it Wiles will can negate spell cards and that's kinda relevant. Okay, good. I was like, well this guy the, the fucking eighteen hundred level four, I was like, maybe we can run him, it can be a beater or something. Like I was like, I don't get the synergy. <laughs> but that's bots there. That's bots is a good deck. That was a good one. Even though I opened up with a whole bunch of dead twin twisters. <laughs> I still came back. <laughs> Bad, but in the end you were the reason that we were able to finally win because of those death spots. <laughs> Alright, we're done here. So, uh, thank you, Alexis, for joining me. See you all later on. Yep, so, Probably. Uh, be sure to check out her channel. Link is in the description. Uh, are you planning on entering the next great YouTuber or no? I'm not 100% sure, because even though I'm trying my hardest, I still feel my content is kind of lacking. I feel you. I feel you. I'm just, I'm just worried about you, because I think that you would probably... You know how fucking cancerous the community is. They'll probably end up crucifying you. 
also true, but honestly, I'm not really concerned about that. I got that all the time on DN just because I was a girl duelist that actually knew what she was doing. Mm-hmm. They'll probably just dislike your video or anything or whatever content you put. Not has nothing to do with your content. Just like, oh, what? You transgender? Oh, fuck that! I'm ignorant. <laughs> I actually have. Uh, what's his name? I forget what his name was. I'll find you. I actually have someone who's just a random big YouTuber come and talk sh uh, smack on my on my channel, even though he doesn't even know what Yu-Gi-Oh is. Wait, what? A big YouTuber? And a big Yugi tuber. Uh, not not Yugi tuber. A YouTuber. Mm. I'll see if I can find it. It was on one of my uh, deck profiles that he came on. Okay. <laughs> so he just came in the bag. People are just so ignorant. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. So I'll be back tomorrow. Double deck profile once again. I mean, double deck profile. No, not double deck profile. You only get one. One deck profile, one duel. Uh, deck profile for. Dark Lords, and I will be playing with Gladiator Beast. Because you guys voted for that. I've never played Gladiator Beast before. So, alright. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.